coming up on The Naomi Show. They say breaking up is hard to do and they are so not wrong. Survival strategies. Especially in times of pain. And that can be anything. That can be your famous tub of ice cream. The Naomi Show starts now. Hello and welcome to the show. Now, with so many relationships falling apart these days, there are a lot of people going through the pain of a breakup. And as most of us who've been there know, it can be devastating, whether you're the dumpy or the dumper, and I know this personal experience. So how do you best cope with a heartache and how do you move forward? Well, Kate Anderson is a psychologist and a good friend of mine, and she's come up with a number of steps, a survival strategy, if you will, to help you move through this difficult time. And Kate, thanks so much for being here. They say breaking up is hard to do, and they are so not wrong. <laughs> and you would say the first thing you need to do is acknowledge what's happened. Exactly. Just to say, this is what's happened. It's a simple step, but it's important. It's the beginning of a process. It's a tough one, though, isn't it? Because you, you in a way, you're saying, I've lost my best friend, yeah. I've lost my lover, yeah. I've lost the person I go and do things mm -hmm. on the weekends. It's painful. It mm -hmm. can be really, really painful. Mm. But it won't kill you. <laughs> no, I'm here to say it won't kill you. No. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes that can feel like that, doesn't it? Indeed. And that's exactly yeah. what you say. The second thing you almost need to ask yourself is, how do you feel? I think most people experience a range of emotions and mm. it's important for you to be aware of them. And one of them can be shame, which is hard to be aware of and to acknowledge. But there can be anger and sadness and grief and love and remorse and apology. There can be a whole range of them and they're probably all there together, or at least in sequence. And you always say, allow yourself to feel that. Allow yourself to grieve mm -hmm. if that's what you need yep. to do. Mm -hmm. You may uh, just need to sit and think, what, how am I feeling? I'm feeling mad. I'm feeling sad. I'm feeling shame. Yes. You've always given me the suggestion and the advice that you should nurture yourself at a time like this too, shouldn't you? <laughs> and not be too hard on yourself, avoid negative people mm -hmm. and Definitely. annoy negative things. Always. And, and yeah, Always. Mm -hmm. And look after yourself. Yes, you need to know how to nurture yourself, um, especially in times of pain. And that can be anything. That can be your famous tub of ice cream, if you like. Yeah, I've done mm -hmm. the ice cream a number of times. <laughs> yes. And most people know. That's what know. they do in the movies, isn't it? I figure if they're doing it in the movies, it should work for me too. <laughs> Not every day. Not every day, yeah. you're right. Mm -hmm. But yes, nurture yourself. It's important at a time like that. There's mm. also your thoughts that come into play here too. And mm -hmm. it's really hard to turn off thinking about your partner. If you've mm -hmm. been in a long-term relationship, you're used to talking every day. You're used yeah. to spending time with them on weekends. Mm -hmm. And you're used to hearing the phone ring and thinking it's going to be them, perhaps. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I, I remember um, years ago, and I was struggling to, to get over these kind of thoughts because it was just so raw to me. And you're sure. so, it just comes up. All the, you know, you can be driving down the road, hear a song, you're thinking of yep. them. Mm -hmm. And you said to me, and it was the greatest advice, you said, look, just take all your thoughts and blow up a balloon and blow your thoughts into the balloon, tie it up and let it go. Let it go. And I let go of quite a few balloons, I'll give you a tip, mm -hmm. but, but it yeah. worked. It's it a just metaphor, but things. it can work, yes. Yeah. yeah. And these things are passing, you know. You can say to yourself, uh, this will pass, this mm. too shall pass, and it will. I've all... heard you say that before. Yes, yeah. <laughs> and they do. Pass. Yeah. 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 You also say that you need to ask yourself, what does this mean for me? Mm -hmm interpretation of an event yes mm. you can say well I'm an unlovable person mm. I must be an unlovable person because he's left me or you can say well maybe it wasn't the right thing yeah. and that's probably the best way to go isn't it it's probably more resourceful it is more resourceful there's no mm -hmm. doubt of that yeah mm. and so find... there's a choice two interpretations you can choose whether it's negative or positive you say what can you learn from this about this situation and mm -hmm. about yourself mm -hmm. Because I guess with the breakup of relationship, you get the chance to look back in hindsight and see what you did and the things you might have missed along the mm -hmm. way. Mm -hmm. Well, I think that they're out of um, painful experiences, you can learn a lot about yourself if you're open to it. And sometimes the most painful experiences are the ones that are the greatest teacher. Mm. Yeah. And you may not want to know what you learn about well, yourself. Well, it might be uncomfortable for mm. you to f find that out. But I think if you're open to it, and it may well be that you ignored some of the warning signs, this mm. guy wasn't the right person for you, you just ignored it. 
And finally, you suggest that you need to plan for the future. And you're not talking about a future relationship, you're talking about personal goals, something you can be optimistic about for your future, yeah? Absolutely, yeah, planning for the future. And there are two parts to that, the now, that's today um, or this week, and the future this year. And so for the now, it can be simple things like, what am I going to do today? And you may have three things that you decide to achieve today, and they can be very simple things. And that's so it helps you just get through the day. Exactly. You've, you've got to push yourself. Pain. You've got to have a program. Yeah. And for the future, it can be um, anything. You know, learning how to juggle. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe scuba diving, skiing. L learning <laughs> how to fly like a helicopter. <laughs> exactly. Maybe. Right. Yes. <laughs> So there is a future, there will be a future for you, even though you've had a broken relationship. After all, we're all looking for love. We are, so hopefully <laughs> it'll find us. <laughs> it will. Thanks, Kate. Pleasure. And if you'd like those survival strategies again, or if you have any issues you'd like us to look into, just follow the links on our website at thenaomishow.com and I'll see you next time. <laughs>